O Lord, open our ears that we may hear what the Spirit says to the church. This morning we read from Judges chapter 1 and into chapter 2 and verse 5. In this Israel is taking the rest of the land. As you read this you may be perturbed because it appears that Israel is engaging in ethnic cleansing at God's command. We have to remember two things, that the world then is not like the world now. It was far more brutal um, and when you took over a land you took it over and you chased out the existing inhabitants of the land. But also you have to remember that the world was not so populated. So when these people left that land, they didn't go nowhere. There were other places that they could go, other lands they could go and live in because the world was much less populated than it was today. So it wasn't quite as brutal as it sounds, though we have to acknowledge these were brutal times and uh, God's people were called to live as holy as possible in those brutal times. But what do we learn from this? God had commanded them to drive out those nations because those nations would bring in their idols, they would uh, d distract the people of Israel into false religion and they were to get rid of them because otherwise they were going to be a temptation to them. Israel didn't obey and didn't uh, remove all of the other nations from amongst them. And we see through Israel, Israel's history how that they turned to Baals. Well, how did they know about the Baals? Because of the people of the land. This was their God who they led people astray to worship. Um, and so we see that because they didn't obey God, they brought themselves into special temptation. When we come to the Lord, there are sins and habits in our life, things that we um, allow into our attitudes, that we allow into our hearts, that as we come to Christ, we must completely drive them out. We must completely challenge them all the time by God's word. If we allow that sin, that attitude, um, that that motivation to stay in our life and we don't drive it out it will lead us into sin and away from God we need to take the example of the people of Israel and drive out completely the old person the old man who was in our life that we may possess the land we pray that God will give us strength to do so in Jesus name our father we pray that you will help us uh, in our life living for you that we may drive out of our life all that is not holy, all that is not true to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.